Good morning. Well, yes, we are excited because the weekend is finally here. Yes, indeed. We are excited because we promised that we'll be bringing you the feel good edition of Wake Up Nigeria. It's Friday. <clears throat> I like that, that announcement. Yes. So if somebody's still in bed, you know. Wake up, people. Yeah. Wake up. Uh, the feeling is amazing. And I tell you, especially when you know you're here with us, just as we are ready to have some fun. And of course, as always. You don't have to miss a thing. We're streaming live on tvcontinental.tv and on Facebook. You can look us up at TVC Connect. For comments, use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria. My name is Titi Lyo Oyinson. Like we don't know that already, but you know. Well, hey, I I'm, love I'm saying Yomi my name. Owope, and um, mm. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here. And I know I'm that always... you're happy to see us as well. Over. We're all dressed in jeans, Friday means... just laid back, trying to Friday means tomorrow, I'm going to sleep. <laughs> That's what it means. No, you have a busy weekend. Like, well, we all true, know that. So. True, ah, ah, you may Don't be doing this now. Not on TV. All Please. right. So, we are happy, <laughs> proud to announce that Mary Jane is joining us in the kitchen this morning. Yeah. With Mary. Good morning. Hey. I, I smell something ethnic going on in that kitchen. Yeah, As she's usual. cutting some okras. Mm-hmm. I love it. Um, we don't know what else is going to be happening in that kitchen today, but she's going to let us know. Now, first, this morning, we're going to be having an interview with comedian, with a comedian, to get your ribs cracking. Okay, now you go to bathroom now. You go beat me with that now. You go beat me with that now. Come with me. 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 Come and we'll be bringing you a package on High Life. It was put together by Damilola Odolo. And then from there, we're going to be having a chat with Crystal Chibu, who is the executive director and founder of Irede Foundation. And finally, we'll have Nigerian comedian and MC Omo Baba right here for a conversation. Uh, everything you think about will come true. In this Lagos, I was hugging. In this same Lagos, you refer to me as what? Fine, boy. There seems to be a lot of comedy going on today. Yeah. <laughs> it never gets old. Mm -hmm. That line, that whole fine boy line never gets old. <laughs> I don't know. It's like probably almost 10 years he's been using it. Mm -hmm. And it still just cracks me up. He's a really fine boy. Yeah, really? Uh, yeah. If he was really a fine boy, it might not have been that long. But because, uh, I don't know, it's more or less like... <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. I feel like ass. he spoke it into life. <laughs> okay. He and it spoke happened. that fine boy into See? his life. It was fine oh, yeah. then. Say it and uh, you, it's fine. you mm. get it, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, but then a good... Uh, good news, uh, Chloe Kardashian has given birth uh, to a baby girl. Yay. Uh, oh, okay. Congratulations, and you, you know, I, 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 I love her story because I, I think at one point she had an issue with her ovaries or something. Mm. She medically was... Uh, her chances were very, very, very Very low. slim, okay. yeah. Very slim, almost nothing. Mm -hmm. So it was more or less like a miracle yeah. um, con conception, mm. you know, and then... The, so it's finalized with mm. the baby coming out. Yeah. Forgetting all, let's forget all the controversy and yeah. all that. But I, we can't know? forget the controversy because one of the ladies <laughs> involved <laughs> says she's pregnant. The lady that was oh, seen no. coming out oh, of yeah, the hotel, so, yeah, yeah, she said that. she's pregnant. <laughs> so there is no way this is going to be missed. Oh. Uh, no, no, absolutely uh, no way. No, uh, you see, uh, normally the Kardashians, I didn't really like them, but then there's a point when Kim made the cover of Forbes with her game. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, my respect and admiration grew for her, but I've always liked Chloe. And you know, and she has always wanted the kid. And you know, for so me now, that's the highlight. That's the mm. highlight. So that's from from an addict, <clears throat> a TV reality show addict like myself, let me give you the lowdown. <laughs> so for three whole seasons, Chloe was looking for a child. Yes. Three oh, seasons. Wow. Yes. That. Three seasons looking for a child, and I have a feeling it might have been one of the reasons why she was having issues in her marriage to Lamar. Mm. Um, and well, of course. 
uh, all her relationships have been kind of centered around her settling down. To me, she was like m one of the most mature of yes, all of she, them. In fact, she's a favorite. She's yeah. a fan favorite. Many people oh, love wow. She okay. lost weight. She did everything she needed to do. And then finally, you know, she's pregnant and then she's had a child. But it felt like it wasn't going to happen for her. Her sisters had already had so many kids. And so you know, this, this Chloe, her younger sister this has Chloe a child that before we're her. About is, is, the, yeah. is the big one, right? She used to be the she, big she, one. Yeah, she used to be big. She used right. to be the big one. She's still huge, but not like she big used to anymore. be. Right. Okay. <laughs> then, but yeah, I'm just trying to. You can't fault their work ethic and their business yeah. acumen. Mm. Yeah. Yes, mm. they're, uh, I, to me, um, if not for the fact that they have some odd choices um, that they've made, their business ethic is admirable. And mm. um, really. On should, average, should be commended. On average, one could say that one, many people call their mom super mom because mm. she raised them right. You can always tell from the way they act. Mm. And two, they have this family value. Right. And then three, talking about their relationships, people say, oh, they're bad luck, but I just feel they attract the bad people. Mm. It's not about them. Nah. Oh, well. It's Kanye West. It's, it's really except Kanye West. Oh, he's a So what's no, this no, what, what thing they have about black guys, though? Right. Yeah, well, Scott, Scott this is not black. Once you go black, I you never you go that back. Talk, Gary. <laughs> Scott this is black. I'm just saying. It's Scott this is black. Yeah, that's why but he didn't really, try enough. They, they're not uh, married. Okay. It's uh, the papers right up next. Yo, me and Titi have you on that one. Thanks so much, Mike. Uh, we're starting with the Daily Sun this morning and the headline, As Herdsmen Spill Blood, uh, 25 Killed in Fresh Taraba Massacre. Wow. Uh, gunmen kidnap twins of Olubadon's second in command. APC, fresh crisis looms over Congress convention, Congresses and convention. And members fault timetable alleged plot for affirmation. And uh, PDP accuses Buhari of non-transfer of power to vice president, urges National Assembly to address power vac vacuum. And uh, Electoral Act, Wiki Canvas's override of president, all on the cover of the Daily Sun. And on the cover of the punch, it says, A herdsmen attacks, protests in Plato, 30 killed in Taraba, Benue. Rowdy session in Senate as Abaribe calls Buhari incompetent. Uh, it says here, Agbekoya, OPC, threatened to stop AKT Oshu polls. Uh, it says here, we'll arraign XIG a hindero for alleged fraud, say IP, ICPC. Serap threatens lawsuit against UIAAU over fees hike. Scores filled, uh, feared dead by gunmen in Zamfara. And uh, the sex for Mark professor goes into hiding. Then finally, inflation records 14th consecutive month of decline now at 13.34%. That's what we have on the cover of The Punch. Up next is The Nation and the headline, Row over Buhari's link of killer herdsmen to Gaddafi. Uh, Tempers flare as uh, flare in Senate. Sage, Balarebe, Agbakoba, others differ. A 30 killed in Taraba, Benue, and Senate battle over oil blocks. Uh, Supreme Court's verdict on Saraki, July 6th. Um, Senate probes offer bank robbery and uh, killings. Uh, CBN banks support for SMEs to hit 60 billion naira. And finally, Otun Olubado twins abducted, all on the cover of The Nation. The Vanguard says, Herdsmen kill 66 in Benue Zamfara scores in, uh, in Taraba scores in Zamfara. Killers defy presence of IGP Idris in Taraba. Governor Ishaku raises alarm, backs Danjuma on self-defense. Hmm. It says here also, Bank MD who bought 134 buses, 20 houses with 11.4 billion naira slush fund arrested by EFCC. Dismiss treason charges against us, IPOB tells Justice Binta Nyako. A rowdy session as PDP Senator slams Buhari on more uh, agege, uh, agege. Uh, suspended for 90 legislative days. Then uh, on Naira Watch, it says uh, the Naira depreciates to 359 Naira to the dollar in the I and E window. Then a sad one here. Siblings die inside a deep freezer in Undo. A really, really, 
didn't want to read that one, but I thought it, uh, it was quite key. That's what we have on the cover of the Vanguard. All right. Uh, up next is This Day. And uh, the headline, at second this day healthcare policy dialogue, leaders task Nigeria on universal coverage. And inflation records sharp decline to 13.3% in March. Um, 53 killed by suspected herdsmen, bandits in Taraba, Zamfara, Benue. Wow. A death toll in Ukum, uh, logo, local government um, areas, a tax rises to 60. Buhari in UK, PDP asks National Assembly to address power vacuum. All on the cover of this day. And that's it on the newspaper headlines for now. Of course, the newspaper headlines are proudly supported by Dettol. Be 100% sure. So it's time for us to join Mike and Tony in the garden. Yeah, you know, you know how it is when it's Friday. Friday fitness with Tony is always worth watching. Hey, Mike. <laughs> worth joining in. We should be getting ready. Because it is going to be easy banga. Oh my God, divide. I swear I love you, Dad. And we are going to be zooming into the body. Why? Because excess yama, 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 yama. You are telling them, yeah. Yes, I'm telling them because we don't want to carry excess of it. But we need fat. Good ones. Inside All right, you know what it is. Tony, take it away. <laughs> I know. Shomalu, Abuja, Lagos, everywhere, Nigeria. Wake up, time. Let's zoom into the game. The warm up has started. I don't need to talk too much. Today we are covered. Oh, wrong. Middle class, everybody is in the game. You can see them. I swear, I mean, today's gonna be hot. The bag, I just told you. The warm up is over. 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 The warm up starts now. Now let's get into that game. Are you ready for me? Ready. I'm watching you at home. And TV has started the game. It's a fake job. It's a very, very good way of telling your body to start getting that house. Activation of what? Activation of fat. Yama, yama. I want that toe up. The toe goes up. The toe goes up. I told you have what? The old, not too old. Number. Just a number. And break time for me. Where are you going now? Are you guys ready? We're going to be kneeling. We're going to be kneeling. And we're going to be getting up. It's a very, very crazy compound movement. Kneeling. No, I'm going down. And we're coming up. We're going down. And we're coming up. We're going down. I'm not in a hurry. We're coming up. I want you to speak. That's true to If you're a little bit advanced, see what I will do. If you're advanced at home, if you're advanced at home, if you're advanced at home, break time. We are going to be jacking up the one, the heart rate will go up. White and what? Why the heart? Ah, hey, come on. Ah, hey, ah, hey. Heart rate, ah, heart rate, ah, come on. Wow, hey, heart rate, ah, heart rate, ah, heart rate, ah. And break time. I told you, there's a problem with your oblique. Oblique is in trouble. Fly down for me. Don't go yet. I have a lot of agents. If you are home, just watch. Watch my mother's feet. She's gonna be doing a win me modify. Oh, let me see those advanced players. When I say right, give me right. Right. Hold it there. Bring it back to the middle. Right. Bring it back. Right. One more right. Get up. You're going back to the hard trick. The hard trick must pop. Who told you you need a word? What is that Yama Yama thing to play with? Trade me. No way. One, two, three. Wide and out. Come on. Get me low! Tell me your heart rate is not going up. Let me tell you. So, rest. And rest. Go back to that with me. What would you do to the right? Go back to the left. If I went to the right the last time, go to the left. Go. Up. Go. 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 Get up. I'm not trying to kill you. I'm only trying to talk to yourself. Get up, get up, get up, get up. You know what? I said he's what? He's a banger. It's a bang that doesn't mean it. Watch me, quickly. I have somebody doing one. The advanced of it. We're going down. You're coming up. And you're staying this way. We're going down. All those are that squad position. If I can't go down, no problem. Man, you know what we do? We're going to be doing the modified, you know, up and down. We're going to have a line down. Are we set? Whatever you set, we are going to go down. He is a fighter. And Time. The man had up to this game. Oh my god. I am lying now. I'm coming to this side. Forget about what is happening. Follow me if you advance. Keep passing. Keep passing, Olu. If you advance, follow me. Keep going. Keep passing. Keep going. If you want to rest, 
I don't have a problem. Just keep going. Mike, Don't shake him, Mike. Don't shake him. Come here, my friend. Come here. <laughs> you didn't explain at the beginning, so what did we do today? Mike, we have everything about what we do. When I come in, we're only trying to get better. If you are fit, you get fitter. Okay. If you have excess Yamayama fat, you should start what being used because what? We are talking to a lot of muscle groups. Intelligently, that is the process to talk to what? Break down. You have to break down fat. All right, all right. Before you burn it. That's okay. what we call the policies. If you don't transport them to the other side, you know what burn. You understand? And. <laughs> Tony, thank you very much. Wonderful. Like, why you guys do a, a cool down, right? Okay, so. I do uh, cool down. I think my heart rate now. <laughs> All right, thank you very much, Tony. Oh. But then, you know, uh, usually from here we head to the kitchen, of course. Uh, both Marys are in the kitchen and uh, she was dicing some okra there while I, just before I came out. What's up? What do you guys have for us this morning? Hello there, and welcome to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. It's time for us to create something amazing again on the show. And Chef Mary Jane, aka Mama Africana, is our driver for this morning. How are you doing today, Mary Jane? How to use those <laughs> Hello, good morning. You know, you have your way of always doing things from the scratch. You actually got me. I don't know what I was doing. I messed with my blender. Well, now you got it. You can always um, great your great your crayfish, crayfish to get what you're looking for. Well, I, I could never have guessed that. Well, I just did. I'm yam. I'm still doing it. Okay. <laughs> so what are we making today? Okay, today we're actually going to make seafood okra. Okay. And um, it's usually one of my most um, favorite meals. And seafood okra is one of your favorites. Yes. Ah, because so you would everything is always fresh, well. fresh, 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 fresh. You know what I mean? You just have to have everything fresh. Oh. So, um, so that's what we're going to be having this morning. Seafood and, okra. Uh, yes. We're going to be serving it with a staple of our choice okay. and, um, sorry, um, this is what? Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Yep. Okay, uh, we're going to be going uh, over the ingredients, but if you check your screen right now, you'd see the ingredients for seafood okra, mm. okay? So you can be able to scribble them uh, down and uh, catch up with the conversation. So, you said this is... Uh, okay, we have the pumpkin leaves here. Okay. And um, we have a fish. This okay. is the fish we're going to be using today. It's actually croaker. Okay. You can actually use almost any fish. You can use panla, you can use... Yes, yeah, but anything. croaker because it has to boil for a while, so you don't want it breaking. Okay. So we have the croaker here. Okay. Then we have our oil, of course. We have... Um, the palm oil. Yes, that's the palm oil we'll be using today. Okay. Then we have crabs and we have um, prawns. As you can see, it's already deveined, so mm. there's no, it's actually cleaned. Okay. So um, we have our own, um, okra, which okra. is like the basis. Yes, which is the basic thing, mm -hmm. and it's roughly chopped. And um, we have our onions, we have our seasoning cube, we have our pepper, and we have our salt. Salt. And of oh, course, I did not forget that <laughs> the crayfish I was grating. <laughs> which you've been grating. <laughs> so what's the first thing we're doing? Okay, the first thing is um, we need to get back on fire. Okay. Okay, I'll, let me get that way. Okay, you get this way. Yes. I agree. So, first thing is we have a clean pot and we need to heat our palm oil for a while. Okay. Why are you trying your... Why you to start the fire it? alarm. That's why, my fear. Why, 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 why are you pushing it? <laughs> That's my fear. You see, I keep giving you the side eye. That is it. Mm. Next thing you know, people will be running out of their offices. Well, they won't. <laughs> they really won't. Okay, so what goes in next? The pepper or the onions? Okay, the next thing we are going to be having... You said you were going to be what? The next thing we are going to be having is our onions. We need it to fry a bit. Okay. But we need the oil to actually heat up a little more. Okay. Just a little more. You need to hurry up with that because very soon it's coming in here. Oh. Actually, the soup is actually very, 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 very easy to make. And seems not to take too much time, obviously. No, not at all. Okay. Not at all. Okay. Okay. This might have to come last. Though. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So now we're going to have our onions pudding. I'm glad I'm not too close. Don't worry. I'm not actually going to make it... Um, Because we need some aroma, we're going to fry the bits. Okay. For how long are you frying? Um, a minute, 30 sometimes seconds? Sometimes um, the timing it's like, um, doesn't really, really work, especially with the fact some of us use firewood, yeah, so some of us use gas, some of us use electric. 
So it this one. Yes, just dry enough oil till the aroma is as good as you want it to be. Okay. Give and take a minute max. A minute max. Mm. Okay, yes. so what happens right after? We'll have to put in the pepper. The pepper? Mm-hmm. So that means the pepper has to cook for a while. Yes, it needs to fry for a while too. Okay. So after the pepper, what goes in? That stuff you're grinding. You mean? You already put... Oh my gosh. So you okay. need to like quicken up. <laughs> <laughs> I always love it when I know you're the one doing that. Oh my gosh. See your hand though. Yes, now. I didn't even know I could be this fast. And but the pepper is still cooking. What, whichever one I've done, so you just this is like what that. it looks like. Color already. I love yes. color. So you could imagine. With food. Yes. So we're going to leave it to um, fry a bit. Okay. Is it possible for us to use both sides of this to make it faster? Mm, I think I already have enough. I have enough. Please seriously. tell me I haven't done too much because no, I hurt myself. No, it's okay. Uh, you what? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you okay. know how crayfish has this pointy pointy oh yes parts. it always does this is another oh, way you could actually do it so that you have something rough okay so you're gonna mix everything together the i've rough. already done that yes hmm. i really didn't want it so smooth okay the whole idea is i have crayfish and the aroma is on it all okay. right uh while we get on with the cooking we have to go on a break now after which we'll have a chat with comedian franklin coming up when we return it's wake up nigeria stay with us Welcome back. And our social media comedy sensation, Franklin Ijezwe, is here with me. He is also an actor and has uh, taken part in a number of uh, popular productions like Flatmate and Hustle. Okay, cool. You look like you're going on set now. Mm -hmm. I, love, I love the whole field. <laughs> <laughs> we always like this way, you understand? We don't know. You don't know where, where it's set or where it's... I mean, come on. It can just happen. Is, is Nollywood that good? I can't differentiate between real life and being on set. So if we're talking about Nollywood, let's specify. Because now, what's going on in Hollywood? I don't understand. Come on, you tell me Wakanda part three. Who did that? Why? Why? <laughs> no, it's true now. Okay, look at Ewai now. Ewai <laughs> went to go and do his own um, his, um, comedy thing. Mm. Wakanda. Okay, it's comedy. Okay. okay. Let's leave it there. But then, okay, Nigeria is now Wakanda part. Wakanda part. What about that? Spider Woman. <laughs> Spider Man. It's not yeah, I actually saw that. No, I actually saw that. No, to me, it doesn't, make doesn't it mean, doesn't it, doesn't it show that that is what, that's the level of, the audience because if it doesn't sell would we do something like a batman i've seen it batman. doesn't <laughs> sell it doesn't sell Don't you understand? What, 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 i mean come on have, 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 have you seen it i've not seen it but okay. then but then but then you know generally yeah my own i would leave my own opinions of nollywood by the side but then when you look at movies you know the the cds that you see out the dvds mm. and all that on the traffic and all of that they're they selling do so you actually maybe, buy cds on the road how many people buy them no, the, only buy. That, the only things i see that people buy actually on the roads are Audios, mm. yeah, albums and shit. Mm. Yeah. Apart from that, nothing else. Man. Okay. Personally, what do you or ju just you, you, your take on Nollywood? How we, uh, are we uh, would we say that we're getting the best out of what we have av available to us when you look at uh, cast, crew, production, and all of that? You know, now, 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 I feel before you actually act, you understand? Before getting on set, they, 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 they use more of you know connection. You understand? Most people can act again. Yeah, most shaking, fresh guys. Yeah, shaking some tables most, now. Most fresh, no, <laughs> most fresh guys can't act actually. If 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 you watch, you see that most fresh guys. But but then you know. Most fresh I know guys. this guy. I know this guy. So AKA you can't act you also. Understand. Me. That's what I say. No me, I can't act. Uh, you are, uh, no yeah. standard. No. Okay, okay. Actually, nobody's going to tell you he can't act. He can't act. I can't. You understand? Now. You can't. Yeah. You no, know, you you're, you're not saying that you can't. Like, you understand? Like me now, I'm telling you that I can act. But if I can't act, I would actually tell you, oh, I can't act. Mm. You get? Mm. Like I'm supposed to be an actor. Okay. Yeah. yeah, but then they just go on set. They do some crazy things. Okay, watch. Someone is sitting down. You're supposed to act hungry. Mm. You don't go about doing. No, <laughs> no, it, it, that's that's fake. Okay. So, it, it's so how would you act if you're the one? Like if you're hungry, at least you, maybe once in a while you just you know. Is it but because of what you're perceiving that you're talking about food now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I actually think you're hungry, are you? 
<laughs> yeah. Okay, so Franklin, let's talk about you and your career. How now you are an online comedian and all of yeah. that. And yeah, we've seen that Instagram has brought up a lot of opportunities for a lot of young people. How did it start for you? Uh, it started when I was in my 200 level in Covenant University. Ah. <laughs> so you are part of that. You went to that school also. That is oh. a shave. Let me see your hair. That is a shave. Well, hair. Is they, they you, know, you, know, you know when you've gone, you, ha you, are, you are free to do whatever you want to understand. But then, then, mm. yeah, everything was not. It wasn't nice. like this. Yeah, it wasn't like this. It wasn't like this. Okay. Yeah, and again, okay, when I started, okay, even the name Kikus, how I got it was, it was all jokes. Okay. Someone just came into my room and just said, Kikus, my classmate, just said Kikus. I don't know why. I was he talking to me? The names, I let it slide. Okay. That year, next year. Okay, I've always been a um, comic person here. I make people laugh and stuff. Then I made one video, just one video. Not, not any video, basically, not, not a funny video, you understand? Just um, a, a video for quick teller, you understand? A whistling video. Then I made the video and guys were like, I was just whistling. No, okay. Guys were like, <laughs> it's funny. Ha, I said, wow. So we can start up something. Yeah, let's see, let's let's see. How how did it sound? Let's can you whistle? Can you whistle? Let's see. No. How did it sound? No, I can actually whistle. Just give me a song, I'll whistle for you. <laughs> okay, and then that was how it started for you. Yeah, basically. Mm. Basically, then I kick up from there. Right. I started doing these dry jokes Wednesday. Oh, okay, dry yeah. jokes Wednesday, yeah, I guess. Wednesday. Yeah, then I was popularly known for that. What are your best your best dry jokes Wednesday? Ah shit. Hey, which ones? Which ones come to mind? Which ones come to mind? Um, let's jump let you. Let's jump. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Give me one. Give me one. Let's start. Give me one. <laughs> yeah, the one that is no, 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 no. I don't you know you must have seen some, Wednesday. you know, around. You must I have seen. I don't, I don't give me no. I need to come back. Uh, you get into? Uh, I don't know. Maybe knock knock jokes. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe knock knock jokes. Okay, that's what I said one time. I said, if I bend down to pee, yeah, yeah, we call that a pillow. <laughs> that, one, that, one said, that one said, that one said, that one said, that one said, okay. no, that, it, it, it's, it's not that funny, but you know when you add effects on No, but, 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 but that's why it's dry jokes when it's there, they're not expected yeah, to be then, very, very, very funny. But then, but then you're supposed to laugh. No, okay. when, when you actually think about it, like, wow, why? Okay, so, but as, a, as an actor now, we just have to round up with this now. What are you um, looking forward, going forward, uh, how far do you expect to take this? What, do you, what should your fans look out for? <laughs> Bigger things, man. Okay. Because I'm, I'm really going in for it now because I'm done with school and okay. everything here. So All right. when I was in school, I, I, I mostly, uh, when I go for auditions, they call me, but then school. And okay. Covenant University is not a school where you can just leave and come in. Yeah. So. All right. Thank you very much. Yeah, here's yeah. wishing you the best. All right. Yeah. Thank you. It was yeah. good having you. Okay, all right, up next is a High Life Report by Adami Lola, after which we'll take a short break and we will be in the kitchen. You're welcome back to the kitchen right here on Wake Up Nigeria. A lot has been happening. Uh, we are making okra, that's uh, seafood okra soup, alongside yeah, keep gari. On. Keep on, hmm. keep on. Auntie Mary Jane. Pour the gari. We are pouring it, we are pouring it. Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Yeah. Isn't it going to swell? Pour the gari. Okay, no this. I am driving the sheep. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you need any more? No, no, not That's at enough. Yeah, okay. Not at all. I'm good. Okay. Our gari is done. This is like a dairy cow of gari, right? Or more? I didn't check. Oh. You didn't check. You just brought gari. Yes. Wow, nice. And that's it. Okay, going back to where we should. Okay. Our soup is ready. Mm. Oh my gosh. Well, Are you sure this is seafood or veggie soup? <laughs> it's not veggie, actually. That's because um, the. Pumpkin leaves uh, just um, need to um, cook, cook properly. a little more. Okay. But I just like feeling its crispiness when I'm eating it. So yeah, I was going to ask not. you that because I know okra doesn't stay for long mm. cooking. Okay. Yes. Sir. So for you to put the okra first before the, uh, the pumpkin, pumpkin leaves, yeah. I, I was quite uh, curious about that. So it's because you still want to have the crunchiness. Yes. So right now. Soup is ready. Soup is ready. We need to turn out the light. Okay, so tell us how we arrived at this. Okay, we started with... Um, sorry, I just want to be sure the light is out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we started with um, steaming some um, red oil and okay. we fried... Okay, then we fried some... Um, sorry, I need to take this off. 
like yeah. I need to take it off light. You have to use that too hot. Yes, I yeah. have to take it off light. Okay. It's still steaming. Why don't we bring it here instead? It will, um, don't no, worry. We'll it's bring fine. that. Okay. The stand, so everyone can be able to get a good look at it. Yeah, so you were saying. So um, we um, steamed the, um, the sorry, the we didn't steam, we heat the red. Uh, In fact, the we overheated it. You know that kind of heating you do that when you pour in stuff, it goes shh. That's not overheating. That's overheating. That's not overheating. That's overheating. Okay, fine. The type that wants to start fire alarm. Good. Well, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. We heat the red oil mm -hmm. and then we had our onions. We steamed okay. it for a while and allowed it to fry to an extent where the aroma comes out okay. and then we added the um the pepper and the crayfish steamed it a little much more mm -hmm. till the aroma got to what we needed it mm. to be the then aroma here oh my gosh i can't describe it don't start yeah, anyway go on. Go on. <laughs> so we added the pepper we added the um crayfish steamed it together then had our seasoning cube had our salt to taste then we added the fish the point here is we needed the fish to take the um, taste of every other thing and also we added the crabs and we let it steam for a while okay. before we now added the prawns. The reason is prawns, once it gets on heat, it easily shrinks or you really don't want it to overcook. So mm. we put that in for a while and then um, steamed it for a while, mm -hmm. then added the um, okra, okay. allowed it to Steam a little much I've never seen burnt Gary. The okra. <laughs> yeah, back to the okra. I'm, 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 just, I'm just reminding you that there's a lot of heat no, it, under it's, that. No, there's, there's really no heat. Today, it, today it might be an uh, introduction no, not, to burnt Gary. Really, we need to make a video on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, back to so that. we now added the pumpkin and voila, our soup is ready. Okay. Um, I was asking you off camera that uh, using all that kind of fish, there must be a reason you chose to use the croco oh, fish. Oh, I use the croco fish because when you cook it, uh, it doesn't really break. You don't want, after cooking, the whole fish is broken. Into the soup. Into the soup. Okay. And you know, you're going to be serving the food. Yeah. And a guy wants to see his fish while he's eating. <laughs> well, the thing is, what my trick is this. Okay. I, I usually make the fish in a different pot. If like you make fish too. Then take each fish, you know, put it on the food when it's ready. But we this want the one fish to have the taste of the, of the soup okra. itself. And there's another funny thing. When you're Just using a minute. Uh, the menu is on your screen right now. Seafood okra. Uh, we didn't add the ebba part, but of course you know how to make curry now. <laughs> <laughs> so seafood okra, that's the soup we're making today. The ingredients are on your screen right now. Uh, if you missed anything earlier, you can quickly catch up on... Uh, what ingredients you may have missed earlier so yeah Mary okay so um you um, when you're using seafood mm. they have this distinctive taste they mm. give both your proteins and your vegetables so that's why i had to boil everything together okay so the taste is actually not the same like when you were steaming for normal soup okay They're now two different today things. is friday i want to yeah. make a treat for my family oh, and yeah. this is what i'm looking at you can you what would you, um, how much would you suggest I'd be ready to spend? About 5,000 naira would do that. 5,000 naira? Yes, because we're actually using fresh fish. This wow. is actually fresh croco fish. Fresh croco croco fish. fish, yes. And we used fresh prawns. We did not use frozen prawns. Mm. And we also used crabs. Okay. Fresh prawns. The, 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 the prices really differ when you have the frozen okay. ones okay. and the fresh ones. Okay. There are two different things all together. Okay. So for this, that would actually feed a family of four. This will five. feed a family, family of, of four, four or five. Or five, yes. It cost 5, about 5,000 naira. Yes. Okay. Okay. So uh, the crabs on average cost how much? Well, um, cleaned, deveined, everything, everything, about six or five of them is about a thousand five. Wow. Yeah. The crabs are that expensive. Yes. Then you don't want to go to the prawns. Why are you always cooking rich man's food, Seth? Um, huh? You know, I just need it to look special. It's always special. If not, why would I want to cook a goosey soup? Everybody knows how to cook a goosey soup. No, now. I don't know how to you cook You know how to cook a goosey soup. I just like <laughs> soups that are quite different. They're not the and soups unique. you eat every day. And they're just those kind of soups that make you loosen up and have a fantastic time. Hmm. That's it. Okay. <laughs> so... 
get ready with your 5,000 naira to head to the market if you want to make this for your family oh, yes. this weekend. Oh yes, you can actually check out our Instagram page, Cadins SP, and you could see more recipes and actually order. That, Gary, I'm saying it too. Hmm. I'm going to have though. a good laugh later. <laughs> <laughs> that, Gary. Hmm. Nothing is happening to you, don't worry. You're sure? just good. Yes, we are very, 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 very good. Okay, so the meal is ready. Let's take again how we made the soup. Okay. Um, we actually steamed up uh, oil. Yeah. And then we fried our onions a bit, mm -hmm. added our crayfish, we added our... Um, um, sorry. The, the fish, the crabs. Pepper, yeah. then allowed it to steam for a while. Then we added the fish to allow the seasoning get into the fish. Mm -hmm. Added the crabs too. Mm -hmm. Allowed it simmer and then added the prawns. Mm -hmm. Allow this in again. Two minutes. No, two minutes is plenty. Six seconds actually. Oh, and okay. then we added the okra. And then after the okra, allow this in maybe because we actually need to feel the crispiness of the okra. Mm. That's why it's actually cut in chunks like this. Okay. Then we added the pumpkin leaves. Now, Mary Jane, is this a meal you can cook with leftovers? Say I have leftover fish, I have leftover uh, prawns in the house, I have... Uh, uh, prawns, yes. Just make sure this, the, the... They're still fresh enough? Yes. Okay. Crabs, yes, but fish. Hmm. Once the fish has K-leg, it changes it. What <laughs> is K-leg? <laughs> I didn't say K-leg. I said K-leg. K-leg, yeah. Yeah, maybe... Um, it has started having a smell oh. or something. It just changes the whole. Like right now, you want to eat, don't you? Mm -hmm. The aroma is because everything it's is fresh. fresh. So the idea is make sure whatever you're making. Very is simple to cook, but fresh. make sure it's fresh. Yes, I'm not okay. All right, so uh, that's about it for our seafood okra. okra. I wonder what you'll be making for us next. You're so adventurous with meals. I think I should do something from the staple next time. So I think we should all look at it. Something with uba. Hmm. I told you. Yeah, something with uba. <laughs> I hope you look forward to that. <laughs> <laughs> you always bring these things and everyone just goes, okay, okay, that's the point. You know how we always think that only um, continental dishes can be played with? Well, we're going to do a little bit on food presentation today mm. and we're actually going to do that play well, well mm. with our Nigerian meals. Okay, I wonder where the crab will be. Probably you crawling up the plate. You will see. It. And there's this funny thing about crabs and sometimes I still marvel at God's creation. Mm. Did you remember this crab was black? We still have a sample now. No, it's finished. Well, it was black, but it's pink. Like Pink, 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 pink. So that you will not go to someone's house and say, the crabs I used to black. see on Wake Up Nigeria are yeah, black. <laughs> and that's Same with the prawns. The prawns yeah. They were blackish or rather grayish. Mm. And it's pink. And wow. you know something interesting? If you don't achieve this color, the food isn't ready actually. No, it is You need not. to achieve this um, yeah. shade for of pink for it to be ready. Even if it's not soup or anything, yeah, whatever you need to is. achieve that this. That shows that your your soup is ready okay the gary oh. i've been saying it <laughs> okay i will be giving you guys the gist in the I meantime was burnt. stay with us wake up nigeria we'll be back shortly Wake up, Nigeria. Yep. Another On a Friday. Friday. <laughs> I'm like, ah. thank you. Thank you, Father. Another week is rounding off. But, uh, Yomi, what, what plans do you have? For well, uh, tomorrow I've got this uh, mentoring thing with teenagers. Oh, seriously? So I'm going to be dressed down in my jeans and t shirt. Okay. And motivating young people. Oh. So. You just went about all. About 500 teenagers. You just went all motivational on us. Uh, oh, yeah, I wasn't yeah. expecting that. that that's, really. uh, that's what I do on weekends. <laughs> okay. Give back. Okay. Back. Mm, yeah. Holier than thou much. <laughs> um, well, I'm uh, party planning. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah we the, know that. The twins are turning five. Ah, congratulations. Be Happy birthday. Big, big, happy birthday to Amber, Amber Ruby. Ruby. Yes, indeed. 
And uh, well, hey, it's going to be a great day today, especially for you, because Wake Up Nigeria is right here to make sure that happens. We have quite a few things coming your way this morning. And uh, don't forget, we're streaming live now. Right now on uh, TVcontinental.tv TV TV and on Facebook. You can look us up on TVC Connect. Now, if you want to participate in the show like you usually do, use the hashtag Wake Up Nigeria. I'm Yomi Owope. And I'm Titi Laya Oyinson. So everyone gets excited about the weekend, and we're no exception. We have the executive director of Irede Foundation joining us shortly to talk about what they've been up to. Mm -hmm. And finally, comedian and MC Omo Baba will be joining us for a chat. What by uh, everything you think about will come through. In this Lagos, I was hugging. In this same Lagos, you refer to me as what? Lagos is a place of dream. Lagos place whereby uh, everything you think about will come through. In this Lagos, I was hugging. Hugly. I was hugly. <laughs> <laughs> was ugly. <laughs> but then suddenly, AKA fine. You didn't have to go to Abuja. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys were talking about weekend plans, right? Mm, Motivation, yeah. party. She yeah. was coming to the party. Don't do any. Uh, are you a do you selected guest? Are you, you coming with Bikin now? You bring, you, so wait, 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 wait. When you tell these guys that really, did you have a kid a, a party for our kids? And I'm even having to hustle. Before. <laughs> and then you wonder that Nigeria, you wonder what's following Nigeria. See? You go to a party, you go to a wedding, you need connection, they will eat food. Uh, oh, yeah. Now, Titi, my own colleague, on the, I'm even needing connection now. I have to talk to Yomi now, and we have to make a plan. And then I'll come with Yomi's kids or something <laughs> to get into the party. Connection. No. Actually, actually, I, I heard so I heard this thing that happens in parties. I mean, since, since we're talking about the weekend, yeah. Yeah. which, you know, some friends of mine have been doing. So yeah. you go to a party, right, mm. and maybe you don't really know anyone, especially if it's really, really big. Mm. Just call one of the servers. Yeah. Square him one, 1,000 naira. I'm yeah. telling you. <laughs> Your table will be full. <laughs> Your Even table with will be contraband full. stuff. As in, things that As in, you... If there were only I've five bottles... If there were only really? five bottles of champagne never. in that wedding... One will come there. One will be on the table. <laughs> You mean, no, what kind of friends sorted. do you have? No, 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 but this has been going on for fully years. Fully taken care of. Yes, yeah, of course. You paid the waiter. Even the family yeah. members. You that's, know the, that's how it's done. You know, some friends is it of the family do it. Or for your table? Just, waiter, just one guy, just one guy <laughs> that you know is influential. For your table or part? For your table. No, so you have your table of your guys. Yeah. Just call the With guy, give him one key. Yeah. Uh -uh. You're done. You don't, you don't know that. The guy was probably going to be paid like 6K anyway for all the work. And you've added 1K to his life. Yeah, I bet. So you're just, uh, this shock is going to remain with you. They will increase it to you. When they this now, they will increase it. But the truth is, it's for five-year-olds. So, Mike, if you want to come, you can since you're five. I will, I will, you know, I will. I'm just I will. saying. It's a headline in the papers coming right up next. I kids for you. I've got three. I know, I know, so, I know. Yeah. Many people. I'll take Moshe here. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> All right. Let's take uh, the newspaper headline, shall we? Uh, on the Nigerian Tribune, it says, <clears throat> on the herdsmen farmers crisis, senators row over Buhari's Gaddafi comment as uh, Abaribe calls president incompetent, blaming Gaddafi an embarrassment to Nigeria, says Fayoshe. Uh, it says here, herdsmen with firearms liable to five-year imprisonment Two million naira fine in Oyo to register each cow with 500 naira. It also says here, uh, scores killed in Benue Zamfara Taraba attacks. Uh, Sheo Sani alleges frame up as police name him as suspect in murder case. Saraki gives committees 24 hour ultimatum on the 2018 budget. Two brothers found dead inside deep freezer in Ondo. And uh, PDP, SDP, Accord, Boycott, <coughs> Accord, Boycott, or your May 12th local government poll. That's what we have on the cover of the Tribune. Up next is The Punch and the headline, Herdsmen Attacks, Protest in Plateau, 30 Killed in Taraba, Benue. A rowdy session in Senate as Abaribi calls Buhari incompetent. Wow. 
of a robbery. A Nigeria's security system sick, says reps. Um, APC, INEC working to truncate democracy, Secundus tells EU. A Senate subcommittee is delaying 2018 budget, says Saraki. Inflation records 14th consecutive month of decline, now 13.3%. Owando shares resume trading. SEC gives reason for lifting suspension. And uh, uh, down here at the bottom, the scores feared killed by gunmen in Zamfara. Murder case, uh, Kaduna police invite Shehu Sani uh, for questioning. And uh, finally, sex for Mark Professor goes into hiding, all on the cover of The Punch. On the cover of the Daily Sun, it says, as herdsmen spill blood, 25 killed in fresh Taraba massacre. Gunmen kidnap twins of Ulubadon's second in command. PDP accuses Buhari of non-transfer of power to VP, urges NAS to address power vacuum. Electoral Act, Wike canvasses override of president. And on election sequence, Senate suspends Omo Agege for uh, six months. That's what we have on the cover of the Daily Sun. All right, uh, the cover of the Vanguard has the headline, Herdsmen kill 66 in Benue, Taraba. Scores in Zamfara. Uh, killers defy presence of IGP Idris in Taraba. Uh, Governor Ishaku raises alarm, backs Danjima on self-defense. A bank MD who bought 134 buses, 20 houses with 11.4 billion naira slush fund arrested by EFCC. Dismissed treason charges against us, IPUB tells Justice Binta Inyako. Um, rowdy session as PDP Senator slams Buhari Omoagege uh, suspended for 90 legislative days. A heritage bank uh, uh, partners with GAC there for uh, something special. And siblings die inside deep freezer in Ondo. And finally, why were after patients Jonathan's properties all on the cover of Vanguard? This all morning. right, mm -hmm. and that's all we have time for on the newspaper headlines for this morning. And of course, the newspaper headlines are proudly supported by Dettol. Be 100% sure. Stay with us. We will be back with Crystal Chigu. <music> Welcome back. So, Crystal Chibu is the executive director and founder of the Iride Foundation, a social sector enterprise focused on giving hope to children amputees across Nigeria and Africa. She has also been involved with a number of NGOs as well as CSR initiatives that are focused on women and children. She's a writer and the author of the book Iride. And uh, it's a pleasure having you in the studio. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. Nice to have you join us yeah. this morning. So, uh, out on the limb, uh, mm -hmm. could you tell us a little bit about um, the story that has brought you um, here today and, of course, some um, impacted lives all over the country? Okay, so nine years ago, I gave birth to a child that did not have a bone in her leg. And um, also, she, she didn't, not just that, she also did not have a kneecap. Mm -hmm. So, you'll see the leg flabbing and more like a boneless chicken. And um, we were told after six days that we needed to amputate the limb so she can live life to the fullest. Of course, that was not something we wanted to do. Um, she's our first child, and we were hoping for a miracle or some, words, you know, some kind of invention that would just be you know, no amputation. Uh, fast forward two years, after th two years and three months, we had to make the decision to amputate. And so we amputated the limb. And um, after amputation, she got a prosthetic limb and started living her life. Um, but after that happened, I realized that from time to time, people would reach out. Then I started putting my story out there, I started blogging, and people would call, doctors would call me and say, oh, we have this case, and the parent don't want to make the right decision, can you just talk to them? So it started from wanting to have a support group uh, for people that are going through the same thing and really not uh, make it big, but just you know, share my experience and how I've basically uh, been able to uh, you know, work with her. Work that you're doing, the impact mm -hmm. that you're making is, I'm not sure it's even quantifiable. Right, mm -hmm. because I mean, uh, the, these are children who otherwise would have been stuck, mm -hmm. but here you are providing help and succor even to the parents as well mm -hmm. and support. Okay, so I, I want to talk about the limbs themselves. Okay. Uh, now, there are different reasons why um, limbs could be 
amputated. Um, but for children, you know, parents don't really like to think about things like that. But um, <clears throat> with the parents that you've worked with, what sort of situations had led to it? Mismanaged fractures, um, an accident that probably people take to the bone setters. Mm. And um, you don't get to the hospital on time. By the time you're going to the hospital, um, the limb uh, gets amputated. And usually for us, that's like 90%. Mm -hmm. So we only have very few cases of kids that are born with a congenital issue like my daughter's. Mm -hmm. So majorly because we, we take the wrong steps and when we have our child fall and you know, before now when we had a lot of Okadas around and in some places where you still have bikes, mm -hmm. um, accidents, diabetes, in some cases cancer, mm -hmm. very mm -hmm. rare cases, uh, probably we had like two kids. Um, with bone cancer. Yeah. Mm. And then they, they, they got amputated. So for me, really, the <coughs> biggest issue is bone setters and, um, you know, mismanaged fractures, mm. taking the wrong steps. Mm. Okay, so um, Out on the Limb actually provide the prosthetic limbs. So these prosthetic limbs, what are they made of? Um, so um, they're different materials. So it's a combination of metal to plastics to rubbers okay. to wood. Okay. Uh, when it comes to the food um, and really it's basically you know comes together like you're making a car yeah. so you have different components okay. and then you you put that together you have a pylon which is like a rod mm. um, that you know forms the the bones yeah. that you know literally and that's put together to to get you know what you now have as a prosthetic. So talk to they're, us about, uh, talk to us okay. about the, um, the kind of help you receive and the kind of help you expect from either the general public, corporate bodies, and things like that? Um, we, from financial help mm -hmm. to um, in-kind help. So really, the first thing I ask people to do is advocate for them. Advocate for persons with disability, because when you do, um, we can reduce societal stigmatization, which I think is the biggest issue. So educate. So when, when you take time to understand uh, what it means to be amputated or have a disability, then you will accept better. Then um, you will not um, pity the person. You only provide support mm -hmm. um, for whoever has been amputated. And I think that's what everyone that is going through a dis one disability or the other wants. My daughter doesn't want to be pitied. She just wants to also you know, be a part of the game. She can run, but um, not as fast as other people. So she wants you to recognize the fact that she can run. So I think that's the first kind of support that we need. Uh, the second kind of support, of course, because prosthetic claims are very expensive, is the financial support mm. um, that you get. Um, for me, it's, it goes a long way. So right now we have a campaign of 600 naira. People give as little as 600 naira to be able to get a child um, a limb. So if we have wow. over 30,000 people doing that, we will be able to provide the 60 limbs. So you're, mm. you're, you're saying each person can give 600 naira? Yeah, 600 naira. Just, you know, wow. you, okay. you wow. give 600 naira and we have 30,000 people who will be able to provide the limbs mm. uh, for the children for this year because we've done 82 so far and this year alone we want to do 60 limbs. Um, another kind of support will, will be now me calling out to the government to say you know implementation of the policies that are in place so we have a lot of policies for persons with disabilities but they are not implemented i'm excited today that when i came into tvc i saw the ramps and all of that yes. most organizations do not have that so there's no accessibility for persons with disabilities so if you if the environment is not accessible mm. then you can't even be yourself if if i have a disability and you decide you know not to make the environment accessible for me i will not be able to function on my my job like every other person can uh, function so for me that's uh, okay now we, now we have to round off now um, but um, I have to say thank you thank you, you know on behalf of you know some parents who are probably watching right now um, I would like to say you know I, I know you have a probably have a message for them probably for those who have probably started losing hope um, I just want to tell you to be strong, um, that it's okay to cry uh, when you want to cry and from time to time I think I still cry uh, but don't stay in that place of crying. Move on very quickly. Accept the situation and uh, turn around the situation and you can live life to the fullest. Disability is just a thing of the mind. If you change your mind, your perception, you will do just fine. All right. All right. Thank I'll you so much for, for that. I mean, the encouraging words. 
uh, to take us through into the weekend. Really. Thank, Thank you so, so much for much. joining us this morning. Thank All right, you. so uh, on Instagram, it's out on a limb, right? It's uh, at the Ready Foundation. Okay. okay. So the foundation. hashtag is uh, out um, on a limb. It's uh, hashtag out on a limb. Okay. All, All right. right. Thank you. So we're going to go on a break now. Of course, when we come back, we're going to meet ace comedian Amor Baba. Don't go anywhere. All right, people, let's still wake up Nigeria. Olufemi Fagade, uh, <laughs> for popularly known as Omo Baba, is a Nigerian comedian who has been in the business for well over 10 years and is in the studio here with us today. Mm. Great to have you join us. Thank yeah. you. And he's looking this like your, a... your dark shades. He's looking yeah. like a fine boy. He's not looking like he is a fine <laughs> boy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear me. Welcome mm. to the studio. Yeah, thank you. All right, so Omo Baba, first of all, uh, really well done Thank you. on becoming the fine boy. Yes. Uh, I feel like you spoke it into yeah, life. Yeah, so he has yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have, have, have it. Have <laughs> shall come to pass. <laughs> Keep saying it. You have to be positive about yourself. Yeah. I like that. Keep saying it. I like yeah. those words. Mm. Comedy um, to many people around the world in, in Nigeria has always been about making people laugh. Yeah. But I feel like you were able to do something else as well. You were able to motivate a lot of other young comedians. Uh, well, it's, it's just, it cannot be, it cannot just be a tree in the forest. You, ha you have to cope with the grass, you have to cope with other fruits. Um, you would think about your own startup, you would think about people that were part of your own startup story, and you think about, Oh, what if I stop this? Who can I even say uh, have impacted? So it's just about growing the talent and making sure that plagiarism is uh, is something we should eradicate in the comedy industry. So you know, you, you start you start early. You start telling them that you don't have to crack people's joke to be funny. Mm -hmm. You can create your own. You can write. You can watch movies. You can have ideas. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's the idea I, I I've always loved to work with and. Thank God he's working out well. You know, I like your story, the, the story of how you started, which a lot of people already know, but I'm mm -hmm. sure that people who are watching right now <laughs> who are not, who don't remember or maybe they haven't yeah. actually heard that story. Yeah. You started comedy almost by accident. Your mm -hmm. parents sent you to buy kerosene <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> in, you know, that, that was actually later on, you know, because I, I've been doing stuff in... Uh, the Sunday school class, yeah. they were going to church, they would say, okay, come out, Joseph, at King Gerard. Um, if I'm not doing that, I'm playing drums and all that. But I just saw, uh, there's, there's this thing happening here now. Mm. Mm. It's open. They're just doing their sound check, and I went with my gallon of kerosene that, please, <laughs> uh, can I perform? They said, what can you do? I said, I, I made people laugh. He said, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, come up, and it was great. Mm. And then later, they, they kept on asking me, how much do you charge to do this? No, I didn't even know that they charge money. Wow. <laughs> you know? I, just wanted to I was just do doing it for like the passion. Fun. Yeah, it's yeah. passion. Okay. I, can, I, can I beg your indulgence? Can I, can I see your, your face? Okay, you see the tired face. I no, which, which, which tired face? Uh, see fine. Were you performing? Well, <laughs> see, see. <laughs> because see. I was, I, as, as at 3 a.m., I was still up. No, you know, you're so. fine. <laughs> you're fine. So, so you, you said that you didn't know uh, that people charged money. So how did you start getting into the business aspect of it? Don't Who forget, it's, it's called showbiz. Mm. So starting up is not biz show. You okay. should start up with the show. With the show you, should, right. you should develop your own act. Okay. You should be good at what you do. So why growing the act, whether you, you think about it or not, you know it's pain or it will pay later. Yeah. But you cannot be charging for what you're not good at. Mm. So and that's the problem we are having nowadays. You just see you just see guys here and there, you know, doing stuff and because you are doing a particular thing does not mean you're a stand up comedian. Okay. It's, it's different industry. You have the sitcom industry. You can be a compare, but there are some people that can do all together. It does not make it um, mandatory that you have to do it together. Okay. So for me, I just think, okay, I'm good at what I do. And somebody just walked up to me that, oh, you've been at this show. You've been at this. Show. Have you collected your check? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So is there a check for this thing? Okay. <laughs> you know? So let's move away from this uh, business comedy. Everybody knows you're a comedian, mm. but not everybody knows you're married. 
Mm. Uh, yeah. Which is relatively really? recent. Relatively. Really? No, no. <laughs> it's, it's still just over a year. Or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, mm. so tell us how married life has been. It's, it's fun. It's fun. Uh, I just try to take my personal life out of my, you know, public business. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's fun. You know, I married my friend and that, that makes it more easier. Mm. At least. Mm. Did, is it what you thought it would be or is it different? Yeah. We have known her for 10 years, so wow. it's, <laughs> it's fun. Mm. <laughs> it's great. It's, um, uh, you just have to, as a man, just, just keep quiet. You're good. <laughs> exactly. Can, can you say that, that again? That is a Please, can you repeat that? That is a domesticated <laughs> man right there. I really want you to repeat it. As a, as a man in the house, just keep quiet. <laughs> they, they, hold, they hold everywhere. Hey, um, I want your color of blue. Put it there. I want... Uh, Put it there. Put it there. What do you want? That's the what way, you want. That's the, way, that's the way to peace of mind. Right? Yes, yeah, so my brother, there's that's nothing the like a BP anywhere. <laughs> you the doctor will be asking me, are you sure you're okay? I said, ah, why? He said, are you thinking about anything? I said, no. yeah, I think about it. I said, well, no, it's not reflecting at all. Yeah, at, yeah. Hey, you should at least <laughs> think of something. I said, well, it's just, it's just peace of mind when you allow when you allow your wife, your girlfriend, you know, to just always have their way with little things mm. around oh. the house. All right. I, I'm lucky nice. how you sounding. I'm like, <laughs> okay, but, but it did take you a long time to get to that stage. Because I remember some of your comedy shows. Mm. I was seeing you on stage where you would talk about how girls used to mm. run away from you. That's, that's so how did, well, when things changed, mm. were they the ones running towards you? In, in, you? You, know, you know, starting up is about, okay, what can I do differently? There's basketball, there's um, Alibaba, there's TA, there's Teju, there's Benga. So I was just thinking, I can't sound like this guy. I can't, I can't do, move like them. Their mannerism is not mine. Mm. So what can I do differently? So I said, okay, let me start speaking on myself. Let me talk about myself. Some stories are true, some are not. You okay. know, but at the end of the day, it works for me. So why you are saying it? Some people are liking you for the fact that you are saying, ah, but they like you. boy, Isha is always truthful. <laughs> <laughs> you know, okay. he knows he's not fine. Yeah. And he's just saying it. <laughs> and that being not, uh, when people say I'm not her, so I didn't know. It was a mistake. I was on um, the biggest platform in comedy then, uh, Night of a Thousand Laugh. Right. Uh, you know, so getting on stage, I, I forgot my lines. Uh, okay. I was like, hey, see crowd, though. These people are here to watch you. <laughs> so I forgot my lines. I just had to face to the front. I walked back. Okay. While walking, one guy noticed me and said, oh, boy, you were wow. <laughs> you know, so, the thing just got to me accidentally. And I'm like, I know. Uh. And people laughed. I said, wow. And then I came again. He said, oh, boy, you know fine. I said, I know. Even though I know fine, they always arrange. I'll be fine, boy. Yeah. And that was it. Yeah. And that's how that, and, the, that side You know, I just, I just like picking on it, you know, cracking jokes around it, and people mm. were loving it for it. And mm. So I created my own identity. Mm. And in true, like, I like that, you know, creating, creating your own identity, you know, really, really important in an industry like yours where you really, really have to make not, your mind. Not the one that we have now that people are stealing. You know, people are stealing. <laughs> so I do want to talk about this plagiarism thing. Mm. You know, in the comedy industry, uh, it does seem to have happened quite a few times where you're not, not even a sure. Few time, a lot of time. It's still happening presently as we're talking. Somebody is stealing. stealing. No, but what, what, what are the things that you can then do in, in, in mitigating this? Is it copywriting your material? How do you do it in an industry like yours, mm. um, different from the way the music guys are doing? You know, you know, our industry in Nigeria is very cumbersome. You know, is is such a way that we are more like brothers. Um, oh, this guy is good. Come, let me help you grow. And um, is it the same guy that I'm going to sue to court mm. for for using my works? Mm. You know, and okay, I've been around for 17, 18 years, and is it this guy that is just coming up in, like some two years yeah. that I will now sue to court? People say, ah, he's jealous. Mm. <laughs> he's jealous. He he's, he's, why, why is it like that? But, but you know, it's I think it's upbringing. Okay. Is who you look at is how you're able to challenge yourself to say, let me do it right. As a point in time, you know, if you give credit, people might not really, they won't ask you questions, especially in stand-up. When, when, I, when I crack a joke and I say, oh, this joke is actually written by uh, Benga Deinka, yeah. and I'm free to say, 
Yeah. You, you remember Ben Gadenka for that moment. And I delivered the joke and it's actually funny. After my performance, people yeah. will not come and meet me and say, ah, Ben Gadenka for you. Okay. They will come and meet me and say, oh, nice performance. Mm. But we overlook little things, which, you know, and um, with the advent of social media now, someone is doing my material and is proud enough to post it everywhere. And you see it on I YouTube. I have to stop you there. <laughs> I have to stop you there because there's food waiting for us. Oh. And I have to <laughs> stop you. I did. But really, Despite. he's ready to eat. Oh. I know. Yeah, but that's my whip point, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Please take Chef a seat. Mary Jane yes. has performed a miracle. <laughs> You're this welcome is, to the I kitchen. Tell us about yes. it. Thank you. To oh, <laughs> so even take a seat is hard. Let me just focus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so we made seafood okra today. Chef Mary Jane will be telling us seafood about it. Seafood okra. Yes. yes. Mm. And um, in this, we have um, fresh fish. I hope you don't have issues with fresh fish. No, I don't have, pro I don't have problem with anything food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we All have right. the fresh... Um, the, we have... Um, these crabs? Yes, actually, they are jumbo crabs. Jumbo crab. Yeah. Mm. And... Um, yes. Fresh fish. Fresh fish. You, know, you know the problem is you don't this know thing that you gave me. Hey, you want you to won't wash hands. Uh, but it's okay. We're in I studio, like, don't worry. We're yeah. in studio. Yeah. Yeah. Fixes. <laughs> and you know, this, I use left. So okay. for those of you at home trying to <laughs> criticize, I'll always say it's not your problem. Just leave me. All right. Uh, now, while he's trying to uh, dig that. in, we need to say our goodbyes because we are ushering the weekend in. Yeah. Right. A wow. big thank you to our friends at Homely NG for the kitchen accessories. And of course, Fola at Fola's Place for styling our hair. Mm. We you, love Fola. you, we love you, we love you to all mm. our guests. Uh, uh, Mommy Irede, thank you so much. Mm. Crystal for coming around today. Yeah, and of course, uh, Omo Baba. <laughs> Omo the Baba. one and only mm. fine boy. Mm. <laughs> How was it? Mm. How was it? We should mm. just continue. Uh, okay. Let's just continue with the show. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Please don't forget to join us again we have an omnibus coming up tomorrow morning you should check us out and of course we're on youtube check out our videos and clips there we can't wait to see you on monday yeah we'll be back on monday mm. thank you chef mary jane All see right. you next friday thank well you done. have a nice day <laughs>